Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode in Ice God's Physics Tutorials. Why are you doing a physics tutorial, you might be asking. Well, it's because I have given up on doing stupid gameplay videos and I finally decided to follow my true passion, which is uh, physics. So here we have a, a classic physics problem, really. Uh, you see it all the time. And, uh, well, we have this mass M1 is connected by a rope of length R uh, to M2 and it is spinning around it so it's, it has a centripetal acceleration of A in the center. So the question is, number one, why, does M1, uh, why is M1 at rest when this spins around? And as you can see here, there's a little pile of uh, brown here, uh, a very classic substance. You can look at on the periodic table of elements, brown, my favorite. Uh, my favorite uh, substance on the periodic table of elements. Um, uh, and that is what's keeping M1 uh, at hold because of the force of static friction against the force of acceleration. Now, the actual question is the math part. My favorite. Uh, what is the uh, work applied? Um, what is the work uh, applied uh, every radian? that this travels. So, so, what is work? Let's talk about that. Work is a force, a distance. Very neat. A force times distance. Uh, and in this case, what is force? Well, if as everyone knows, F is equal to MA. It's a classic meme, as the kids say. Uh, what is M in this case? M is M2, right? So then the force is M2A, right? And what is the distance? Now, here's a little math trick for you. If you take a circle uh, and you know what a radian is, the whole thing is a 2 pi radians, isn't it, right? And if you know that the circumference of a circle is actually a 2 pi r, so you actually can see that one radian, if for any length r, the distance traveled is actually r, if it's, if, you know, one radian. That's really neat. That makes it a lot easier. Uh, so, as you can see, the uh, the work, uh, the distance is r, and then we have m to a. So the work is actually a, m to r. A, m to r. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, so as you guys can tell, obviously that was clearly April Fool's happy April Fool's everyone. Uh, for those of you who didn't get the joke, um, the joke is that the 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 work is not actually AM to R. The work is um, so you see in the circle, uh, the arrows will point constantly inwards, and the angle is changing. So the net work would actually not be AM to R. It would actually be less than that. Uh, it would be uh, some. We have to use the integral because a work is obviously force over derivative integral, uh, derivative of of distance, how would you not know that? Of course, I was I was April Fool's pranking you guys. Uh, I'll get pranked. Yeah, so it's actually the force of the distance, and the force changes based off of the based off of uh, the direction it's pointing. So it actually would be less than the net force in a certain direction. Uh, ha! Happy April Fools, everyone! I'll see you in the next physics video. Goodbye.